for this quarter. The communication theory, information theory, and the relationship of it. Now, first, let's see what role channel capacity has in communication theory. C turns out to be the log of the number of distinguishable corporations or inputs or states. So, for example, If when I prepare it in state X, I can only observe Y, and Y is drawn according to the conditional probability mass function, P of Y given X, I can calculate C with max I of X, Y, and C is the log of the number of distinguishable inputs. All right, let me give you a couple of examples. That I There's no noise. So that's the capacity of that channel. It's pretty obvious. What's the capacity of this channel? Zero, one, one, two, three, four. Well, when I send a zero, I surely get a one or a two. So when I look at I, then I see, I know what uh, number of distinguishable X's turns out to be um, 2 and C equals 1 bit. Okay, now let's look at this. Transitions are a half a half. Now, how many distinguishable? Well, there could be four, but there's no, I don't think I can distinguish four inputs. I can distinguish this one, though, from this one, because as you'll see, these outputs don't overlap these outputs. And I'm back to this problem. So the capacity is at least one bit. Now this is totally noisy, and now you have to actually go through the calculation, uh, uh, and you can find that in D, C, which is at least one bit, is no more than one bit. C is one bit per use the number of distinguishable inputs. Now the beauty of the theory is even if I gave you something very strange, P of Y given X, 
you can calculate C, the number of distinguishable inputs. Now you might think, what about this? What if the channel, here's another example, I send the X, I get it correctly received with probability 1 minus P, and an error occurs with probability P. Indistinguishable inputs are there? Well, none. That's why I get Y. Say point four. The probability distribution of x is probably going to be close to a half a half. My probability of error is going to be significant, like forty percent. So how do I make sense out of the question of distinguishability? for this problem. And the way you do it is you just use this channel many, many times. So when you do the XN, which is, say, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, etc., all the way to 1, 1, 1, 1. And these has roughly NP ones in it, and the rest are zeros. No error. And when I look at this, I all of a sudden recognize it to be a version of this, where you can And you can find a number of distinguishable input sequences now, not single symbols, but sequences, in which the output fans, well, the output fans do not overlap. Versus epsilons in there and so on. So now you can have probability 0.4, but like 10 to the minus whatever. I wish. And the answer turns out to be C. P. Where P is uh, the distribution that is 1 with probability P and zero is probability one minus p. So, uh, this is the entropy of the error, or the coin flip, uh, that will cause the error. And one is the m most distinguishability you can have. Uh, one and so you get the capacity of the function of your probability of noise in the channel. Now, so my main point here is not all these examples, but just that. Capacity is the log of the number of distinguishable inputs. Now, what is entropy? Same trick. Let me erase some of that. <laughs> 